Meow and welcome to Panthe Place Morrowind. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther. The I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be your host for this episode. <coughs> this is what happens if you use AI for no, actually, if you're a silly kitty as I am and fail to say words. Okay, so we were heading inside here, but one thing that I wanted to mention first is um, the changes that I did to the to-do list. So what I did is I went through all the journal entries that we have in Morrowind, checked them, so this is where you see the very first entry. Uh, I need to use this arm uh, over there somewhere. Yes, that's there, there it is. Um, <clears throat> is to ask Sharon in Balmora about necromancy because our journal shows that, uh, let me really quick show you myself, if I go to options and quests, it shows that there is something with, I'm not a necromancer, there it is. Sharon Grab Musgob assured me she's not a necromancer. And um, it says, I wonder, so this is a quest and I was thinking about how about we just ch check the surroundings or ask her again after you know, getting her disposition. So this is basically why I have this task to ask her about necromancy. <clears throat> Apart from that, I um, put in all of the requirements that we need to get new quests. I'm pretty sure there was a drip. Oh, yes. There we go. Uh, the requirements for new quests, uh, there it was. Let me guess there is another... A Daedra Tanto and a Daedra Heart. That's good to farm hearts because they are so interesting and they're valuable. Well, anywho, um, let me real quick check in there again. So what I wanted to say is I uh, also created an entry to train things <clears throat> simply by checking what do we need to progress in our factions and who will give us quests when we have trained, uh, when we have increased our standing in the faction, meaning we, we uh, climbed up in the ranks. As you can see, it is hard for me to play and talk at the same time, which is uh, not a very good combination for doing a let's play. Uh, the reason is very simple. I have worked for 8.5 8 hours a day. Um, you know what I mean. Uh, while I actually have a 6.4 hour day, I'm down to 80% with my contract. Uh, restore magic. There we go. This is something that I blew up. I needed restore health. Let me very quick. There's someone bone walker. No, I'm doing all the wrong things. Uh, now I only can survive if I do have a restore health potion. Yes, I do. And it was too fast. Yes, as I said, concentration. I've worked eight point. I've worked like two hours longer than I than I needed to, because I had a long call with a coworker, and so my concentration might not be the best. Also, I might be hungry. I don't know. I actually don't notice my hunger until it's too late. So this is where the healing is. Okay, I basically went wrong by um, number button. So again, take all the things and then I'm not prepared to heal myself. And also, I am keeping my distance from the fight because they are using AoE damage. So there is another Daedroth. Very nice, very nice. Thank you very much for the heart. Let's drop a quick, a quick save. And let's check the lower level. So we are here in pursuit of some shoes. Yes, I remember. Shoes is what we want. Give me your shoes! 
Well, I, I want your shoes. Give me your shoes. Do they come with souls? I'm Matthew the Black Panther Kitty and I demand you to hand over your souls. You've lost this round. Uh, no, you've lost this round. That's good. Very good. And another Dremora with a Dwarven War Axe, which is not that valuable. And about the heart. Give me a quick check, I think. Ah, oh, let's check that later. Pretty sure there's more enemies here. Yeah, there is. There's one more enemy here. Let me get inside here so my people will actually start start fighting. Hello there. Perfect. Uh, not so perfect. Um, so the thing is that my uh, that I can now see down here that uh, well not right now but the the charges of my of my thing are low, so that's not very good. Uh, I want this. This. I want this. I just paralyzed myself. That was that was not very not very intellect. Well, on the other hand, I did save, right? Um, you don't mind me dying a lot here, do you? Those are very strong. Quick save, yes. This is why I dropped the quick save. Also, by the way, I forgot to turn on the timer, so everything I did for now is kind of free episode time for you. The 30 minute timer starts now. So getting ready to heal. So again, I'm here to demand your shoes, even though they might not come with souls, because I'm not the Prince of Darkness. I'm just Knighty the Black Panther Pity. Oh, she's she killed my. Wow. She killed all of my three. That is weird. I think that is the button that I wanted to press. Come on, heal. Damn you. Wow. Uh, when did she get so strong? What do I do now? Paralyzed and soul trap. Does this work on humans? Well, those, those, I think those don't train my skills. But this one should. But it's just a skeleton minion, so not that strong. Scoundrel. Yeah, as I as I suspected, not that strong. Wow. Um, no, it's it's so far away. It's so far away from my hand. The button to heal. So with the other guy, I actually paralyzed myself. That was not a very good idea. Um. I should do so. This button is too far away. I always do this instead, so I should put the healing spell here and put the bone walker, uh, which I might not. That would be kind of weird. And maybe bring the skeletal minion here. So the thing is that the enemies do respawn. Which of course means I fortify everything. Wow, wow. Hmm. Mr. Magica, where are you? There. 
So this one seems to be out of charge. No, there's one charge left. That's good. But that, uh, that last enemy here... Ah, that, that was the reason. They both attacked me at the same time. Okay, so I assume that when I pick up stuff from this altar that I will actually be attacked. So I'm, I'm going to... Because usually these are kind of trapped. So my sneak skill increased. And the scroll of baleful suffering. Chances folly. Security skill increased. Summon a flame atronach. Scroll of invisibility. Brandy. Candle of gold. Another tanto. Nothing happens. Okay. And the chest is locked with a lock level of 10. That's nothing I can't change. <laughs> with a few tries at least. And there was some money in there. You know what? Do I have the shoes? No shoes. I could have just missed that I got them. The shoes of St. Realms. Hmm. Okay, so there is such so Hello, I'm looking for some shoes. Shoes? Aren't there some shoes here? So this is this is where the shrine is, and where the shrine is, this is where now usually if you use the altar you will get damaged. Okay, this is, this is an annoying spell. Is that it's a burden. Okay, burden is okay. Burden is okay. Target. Those were my people killing me because they use AoE damage. Damn it. Because she managed to paralyze me or to burden me. I could have managed her on my own, I think. But um, as I said, in these shrines, what usually happens is um, that once you take something, usually it's a gem or something from the table, it will uh, summon a strong Daedra. There's, yeah, now there is. That was stupid. I can't even do anything right now. I, I press the buttons and nothing happens. So I'm counting this as a failure as well. Okay, last time I didn't see that other guy, that other Daedroth. I should summon my two people to distract them, but the thing is, if I do, they will just stand there. It's like five and seven. Just so far away. And mouse wheel doesn't, like like in modern uh, uh, first-person shooters, doesn't change weapons. It zooms in and out, so... Virus. He has a reflection spell. That's an interesting light armor marksman. I'm just checking if I can fortify some interesting skill, but no, I should take a restore health. Oh, 
I'm paralyzed and just bad. I think I can get in another bone walker. We should die quickly, but still. Firebite doesn't do much. And my items are out of charge. Also, sucks. and I can't even I can't even hit. I don't even get the chance to hit. Blades, those are 9 to 20. 9 to 20, Daedric Tantor. Hmm. This is good for, for close combat, I think. Because it's fast. Being a short blade. Um, that was hard. Because there is a and there is ooh, fortified skill. That was nice. That was very nice. Okay, that scamp lived here. It wasn't summoned. I thought she summoned it. So this is one of the Daedric Shrines. And what normally happens is if you take a certain item, usually it's some kind of gemstone or something from from here. I think if I take the soul gem with the Ogrim, it will spawn an enemy, which is bad since I'm out of Magicka. So I should actually just rest until healed because I can. And then see if that actually give this one enough charge. No, it doesn't. Okay. Let's see. I saved. So if I take Soljan, nothing spawns. I remember that when I looted these things, there it goes. That's what I remember. So I'm going to equip this, and I'm going to restore some health. And it. So I think I'm still using the Daedric weapon because I'm, I'm, I was attacking while I tried to switch. You can't switch weapons while you're attacking someone. So if you open the menu in the right moment, then you can just switch the weapons. But if you don't, then, well, you can't. Well, that one is... It's not hard, it just takes a while. That was a Dremora Lord. And now we're over encumbered. So we just took away from whoever this is things and even these are things that I do want to keep but the, wow so many nice things okay so this is super super heavy I'm just going to do what I always do when this happens and head back no, that was the right button. So I could even use Feather, I think, 20 points. Yeah, that should work. Which 
just using feather to not have have to drop something. That was that was that was bad luck because now I'm yeah I, I wasted a feather. I'm so heavy I think that I can't jump properly. And I think they won't last until um, until I'm back in Nora to sell. You shall see. I'm going to try this. This is interesting, being over encumbered in the middle of the water should actually just drag me down, shouldn't it? I need to find the right spot where I can get up, but this is way shorter than going around. And then over here. Yeah, I don't have enough enough magicka. And this should still be I can rest. Awesome. Then I definitely have enough Magicka to cast Feather enough times. Because now I can just go to Belmora and then I can just sell stuff. That is awesome. Especially since I will heal again by going here because the ride takes a while. So I'm over encumbered and I still can do this. That's awesome. I never I never tried this in old playthroughs, actually. So I am going to go to the Outfitter first and sell... The prey approaches. Sell all the armor that I have. See, I have lots of gold now because I sold the expensive Daedric weapon and now I don't need the feather anymore. Okay, now I need to check. So this is a silver dagger. This isn't worth that much, so I'm just going to give it to him. Ebony broadsword. But the dwarven mace can just go here. Well, I think this again means that I need to... I uh, need to do the selling trick. Fortify light armor. Five points. I think this one is better because it has a constant effect of five points and this has three to eight, which might be better. It, it does fortify marksmen, but I'm not using that skill. So I'm going to sell that ring. And that is the same ring that I just sold. And those are also awesome five point. I think, is Sanguine one of the data? I think so. So I can just use these if I need them, which is pretty awesome. Well, that's nice. These are super expensive, so I'll free this. With and the super expensive stuff, I'm going to sell with the other merchant. Speak quickly. No, I'm going to speak in my normal speed. Thank you very much. Because they. I have lots of stuff to, for sale and they can give me 1,500 gold. So now I definitely have these twice, so I can just... I now just need to be a little bit cautious when I buy stuff. If I buy another item which is um, priced at um, the 10,000 or something, then I will quickly switch from sold to uh, to bought, basically. And that's what I know. And I know that I do lose money that way, but it's the only way selling stuff that's so expensive. So the pause in between clicks basically is me checking the value displayed. So this is 1,600, well, I'm still 
I'm already cheap enough. I could no, I'm just going to drop these with my good friend. So now I'm going to wait for 24 hours so they have the money again. This is a wondrous encounter. Welcome. Which is a little exploit. It's not the nicest thing to do. That's fire damage. That's not the one we want. Let me just do one thing. Let me just drop my regular weapons so I don't accidentally sell them. Because that would be very bad. There you go. Now I don't need to read. Now I can just click here and see that I, of course, sold the super expensive things. There we go. Wait for another 24 hours and we're super, super duper rich. Which I think is one of the problems in this game, um, that you can become super rich easily. And it kind of can break the balance at some points. Oh no, I forgot to wait for 24 hours. And I should figure out how to um, pause the clock. This is the sole reason why I did not do a time lapse out of this. Last time I did the time lapse at the end of the episode. And this time I simply don't, don't know how to stop the clock. Because when I did the time lapse last time, the clock, the 30 minutes had actually already elapsed. So. I basically gave you that on top of the regular time. And that's what I want to keep. It, there's still, they did not go away, the attachments. And then let's real quick sell a few other little things. Goblet, some plate. Let me put down these books. And I think that's it. Uh, I think Greetings to you. A pleasure to meet you. Yes, I did. Uh, the stupidity. Well, anyway, let's put the yeah, rest of the staff with our good friend Caius Casares and then, then head back. Still carrying a lot, which is the heavy... Ah, yes, these items. They will go to Caius Casadas. And then we're back into... Do you want something? Actually, no. I'm just, I'm just playing around here. And then we're going to do another run into the catacombs. I actually am curious because I do know that Daedric quests exist here too. I only know of them since Oblivion. I have no clue how to obtain them, so I might try around to see how to obtain the daily request here. And then there's some nice Greetings chests. To you. So A first of all, we have you. some nice, we have some nice enchanted rings here. Mm. Unarmored, not that interesting. Destruction. Is something we do use if we do our fire damage conjuration. Yeah. Enchant is for recharging. Oh yes, recharging, of course. I can have Can I has Soul Gem? There is a soul gem with a skeleton. I could use could have used this to recharge the um, the glove. So destruction, conjuration, enchantment sounds good for keeping. Also, they're not that heavy. And now to the weapons, long sword and spear, and the staff of Magnus, which we don't need, and the wizard's staff. And there it goes a Daedric staff and a Daedric Tanto. And then we have an ebony broadsword. We definitely need some 
this Tanto we could actually sell. I'm going to put this Tanto here and sell it on a different run. Because I don't want to go to the shop now okay, and do all that stuff that we just did. Let's here you see how hard it already is to put stuff onto our stack. There we go. Perfect. Also, those coins can stack them here. They don't weigh much, but I can just stack them here so uh, they don't uh, they don't uh, fill my inventory and also just put a candle here to make it brighter. That's nice. Okay. So now I can recall. And then we're going to check. Of course, of course they respawned. Of course they did. There was a fire elemental here. Fire golem, fire flame atronach is the turn. And there we go. Just another expensive staff that I actually might convert to money. Disadvantage of going to ruins with respawnable things. Okay, a lock level 50. No, that is a probe. I want a lockpick. I think I should use... Well, this is... This is the most used one, yes. That was stupid. Okay, now the lock is too complex, so we need to use... The opening spell. Which is more wise. And there is the Shoes of St. Realms. 45 Personality and Endurance. Fortify Endurance is, is very nice. I can't wear shoes anyway. So I'm just going to take everything here. And then there were two chests on the back of the shrine. Which are trapped. One. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Not the best stuff, but it is loot. There we go. And now, I'm going to drop a quick save. And then check out the rest of this area. I bet there is more enemies. Yeah, there is more enemies. I mean, the since they respawn, there must be more. It's only that one, and my people are going to fight him. He is quite strong, though. That is the stuff. Da -da 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 -da. I think he does have reflection on him. Yeah, he does. I don't know how much reflection he has, but I guess it's 100. It seems like 100%. So I might just use the short sort of paralysis. Because if that works, that works, it doesn't reflect that for some reason. Oh, it was the shield, it was the shield that, that reflected, okay. Now I can just 
So I should have just waited until the shield was gone. Good to know. So there's a Dremora Lord here. And we do know that that must have been it, basically. And just drop a save. Yes, I can actually rest until healed here. Which is nice. Back to the upper level. That was the other side. And this is basically the beginning. Now we did this shield thing. Oh, that was that was bad. I'm just going to get out of here. There we go. And um, let's check our to-do list. So we found the sh shoes, and we bring them back to the Vivek Temple. Okay, that's easy because that's just an um, CV intervention away. There we go. And the temple that is here. Very, very good. Under no. sun no. and I sky. can spare a few moments. We bring to oh, it's the wrong door. There we go. Have you found the shoes of St. Williams? Yeah, of course I did. Will you return them? Yes, of course. I will make sure they're well cared for. Seem to have received some blessings. No, he he actually just put them on. I am blessed to be at your service, Outlander. Well, I'm going to ask for more duties. So bring the shoes back, and that was wrong. I clicked once. I am a bit too. I'm a bit too fast. There is a foul cult operating under the Saint Delin Canton here in Vivek. Their meeting place is known as Ini Ihini Palette. The cult meets there. I know only that Ihini Palette is somewhere beneath the Saint Delin Canton. Go there with fire in your eyes and your heart. Bring the temple's justice to the leader of this cult, Vyamund. I wish I could accompany you, Curate Knighty, but I can cannot. However, I can offer you these scrolls: scroll of Hellfire. Of elemental burst fire and of fifth barrier. So I'm going to say, um, we'll dispatch halt in Ihini Palet under Saint Delen. And of course, asking for duties, for more duties means we have done this. So let me just link these. There. Perfect. What do you say about the shoes? Oh, I, I brought them to you, okay. Good, so this is basically not what we're going to do because we have the quest now, but I think we're going to buy that, um, there, this is the right finger, that glass left pauldron in Ghost Gate next time. And we're going to um, ask, so we're going to do these and we're going to go to the Vivek Foreign Quarter next. Um, yes, moving my mouse over the OBS window doesn't work, so I should use my finger or something. There. It is It is flipped, my, my, my own image is flipped, so this is very confusing for me. Anyway. I see you next week. <laughs> bye bye. And um, yeah, take care of yourselves, by the way. <laughs> bye bye.